Hello everyone, this is Oshini here from Chitta.com. The most fascinating thing for me about mathematics is that it helps me to use reason, reason and understand things which are very complicated to understand. And in this particular video, I will give you an example of how that happens. We will start with an observation with a problem from combinatorics that uses just observations and then we will step by step use reason to understand that problem into complete generality. This is so beautiful and if you are a student for Mathematical Olympiads, ISI CMI entrances or even for research projects, then this is um, strategy of doing mathematics. Uh, there is a book by Polya called How to Solve It. It also talks about this particular method. So let me show it to you in action. All right. How to go from observation to generalization and solve complex problems. So what is this particular problem? It says that suppose you have a triangle ABC any triangle and start from the vertex A and draw a Shavian. What is a Shavian? Shavian. A Shavian is a line segment connecting a vertex to a point on the opposite side. So it's called a Shavian. So let's draw a Shavian from A to BC and another Shavian from A to BC. Let's call these two points D and E. Okay. So from the vertex A, we draw two Shavians. From the vertex B, we draw two Shavians. And from the vertex C, we also draw two Shavians. Uh, we, 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 we have to be a little careful here. There are already some intersection points. We don't want to pass through any of the intersection points. So we want to create Shavians which do not pass through any of the intersection points. So it's like this. One of them is like this. Let's draw the other one like this. Okay. So, let's give names to these Shavians as well. F, G, H, K. Okay. So, we have drawn two Shavians from each of the vertices. From each of the vertices. And now, we would like to calculate the number of regions that are created. So, here's the question. How many regions are created? Okay. And someone who is not a big fan of mathematics or reasoning, in this case deductive reasoning, would start by simply observing and manually counting it. So let's do it. Let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we already found 18 of them. And there is one, 19. So total 19 regions are produced. So the answer to this question is 19. And we did it just by observation right we manually counted the number of regions now let's make this problem a little bit more complex and you will see that this manual counting method will not work or rather it's, it will work but it's not the best method in some sense so instead of two shavians from each vertex let's use three Shavians. Okay, so let me draw the picture one more time. We again have our triangle ABC and then we draw 
three Shavians from A to B C like this and then we draw three Shavians from B to C A like this and we draw three Shavians from C to A B but again we have to be careful there are a lot of intersection points which we can think of as junctions we don't want to pass through any of the junctions of course there are three and three total six lines already up here so three times three nine junctions are created we don't want to pass through any of the junctions so we have to be careful let's draw it carefully like this and here we go this is the first one maybe i can draw another one like this as long as i'm not passing through any of the junctions i'm fine and let's draw another one like this here we go so we have three shavians coming out of each vertex the question is again how many regions are created how many regions are created and uh, you know you can manually count this you can manually count this but it's 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 getting more complicated than it was in the first case so this is where reasoning or mathematics step in and i will i will sort of take you in the journey step by step okay so let's do this the case of the th three shavian case um carefully and then we will see that the same strategy can be used for the four shavian case the five shavian case or in fact any number of shavians you start from a vertex any number of shavians you should be able to deduce a formula just by using reasoning and that's where mathematics is at its best so let's try this let's start this three shavian case three shavian case step by step okay so it's a so let's start with the first first vertex okay so this is a b c and let's draw the first three shavians so one two and three okay so three of the third uh, third one is here so step one three shavians are drawn and how many regions are produced well four regions are produced because each shavian is splitting the initial region into two parts right the initially there was one region the first shavian comes in a new region is produced because the one region was split into two parts so now you have two regions a second shavian is drawn another new region is produced so now you have three regions and the third region the shavian is drawn another region is produced so we have four regions four regions right okay that's great so step one three shavians are drawn and four regions are produced step two start drawing the yellow shavians so start drawing yellow ones but you have to be very careful you have to abstract you have to understand what's happening in each step that's where the mathematics lies so if i draw one shavian one yellow shavian what did just happen well we initially had four now this new shavian just split the four into two pieces each of these four regions is now split into two pieces each of these new sh uh, each of these old regions is split into two pieces and now we have four more regions right four more regions 
So now we have eight. Now we have eight regions. Okay, that's great. So if I draw another Shavian, again, each of these pieces are split into two parts. So again, four more Shavians uh, regions are produced. And finally, when I have the third one, four more regions are produced. So in total, 12 more regions are produced. Okay, that's great. So right now, at this particular stage, we have 20 regions, 20 regions. Now comes the real sort of the story. We have to start drawing from the third vertex. So let's draw one of them and let's see what's happening. Okay. So if I draw one of them and I have to be careful, I don't want to pass. I don't want to pass through any of the junctions, right? Okay. So how many new regions are produced? That's the question. That's the tricky question. We are not interested in the total number of regions. We are interested in how many new regions are produced when we create this extra line, the Shavian. Okay. So let's see this carefully. So each time it hits a line. So for example, it hits this line. So a new region is produced, right? So you see, this is a new one produced. It was like this previously. Now this little triangular shaped region has been produced. So one new region because one hit. Two new regions because two hits. Three new regions because third hit. Four new regions because fourth hit. Five new regions because fifth hit. Six new regions because sixth hit. And the seventh one is just the side of the triangle. So there are seven new regions that has been created by this single green one. Where is the seventh one coming from? So there are six Shavians that are already on the board. Three yellow ones and three white ones. And this green one finally hits the side of the triangle, which gives you the seventh one. So one more than the number of Shavians of white and yellow color. So total seven more regions are produced. And now you know exactly what's happened, what's happening for the second green one, right? So if I draw it like this, again, just by using reason, we know that it will hit six of the yellow and white shavians and one side of the triangle so the new seven hits will happen seven hits will happen and each hit produces a new region so another seven regions are produced finally i'll do one more like this the same reasoning will follow and seven more regions will be produced so in total, we have 21 plus 20. So, uh, sorry, 21 plus 16. 21 plus 16. So in total, we have 21 plus 16. That is 37 regions. Right? So you see how we are abstracting from the observation. This is where mathematics is happening. And this is what you should be doing when you have a complicated problem. So let's do it for the five Shavian case. And I'll not do the entire thing. I will give you a question and you can comment it. And let's see if you get it right. Okay. So it's, it's pretty exciting actually. Uh, let's start with the five Shavian case. So what I'll do is I will not draw what I'll do is I will not draw instead I will just use reason in each step so step one let's draw the 
white shavians like this. So five white shavians are drawn. So six regions are produced. Six regions, right? Step two. Five yellow shavians are drawn. So these are from point B. Each time you draw, each time you draw a yellow shavian, six new shavians get produced, is regions get produced. So you add 30 more regions, right? Every time you draw a yellow one, you have six more regions. Existing six, split it into two parts. So 30 more. So for 36, now in step three, you have to count the number of hits for the yellow one. So if you draw a yellow shavian, uh, sorry, green shavian from C, and you draw a green shavian from the point C, you are hitting five white ones, five yellow ones, so total 10, and one more, the final side of the triangle. So you are adding 11 more, you are adding 11 more regions, and there are five of them, so 11, 11, 11, 11. So you have 55 more regions produced. So now you have 55 plus 30 plus 6. So you have 91 regions in your triangle. And this we did without drawing anything or manually counting anything. We just used deductive reasoning. Exciting, isn't it? So, here is a question, the challenge question. What if there are N Shavians, N Shavians drawn? Give it a try. And if you answer it in the comment section, you are in the league of those people who are the best commenter who can be chosen for the best commenter of our YouTube channel. And uh, I hope you like this sort of videos. This is cre created at chita.com. We have outstanding programs in mathematical sciences, research projects, math Olympiad, ISI, CMI entrances and so on. If you are interested, check the link in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep on doing good mathematics. Okay, bye.